is power in communication. Address protesters now. Bishop Onoha to President Tinibu as a nationwide protest against bad governance, skyrocketing price of goods and commodities, unemployment, among others, continue. Code name and bad governance. Immediate this Bishop Dr. Sunday Onoha has reminded President Bola Tinibu that there is a power in communication, emphasizing the need for the president to quickly address the protesters and Nigerians at large. The president vision Africa International, who stated this on Friday while responding to inquiry by SouthPost.com, urged President Tinibu to urgently address the nation and give the masses of Nigeria together with the protesting youth hope on plans to end the hardship in the country as quick as possible. Bishop Onoha highlighted the power of communication, especially in the precarious situation in the country, that if advisors to the president are giving reassuring messages to the angry and hungry citizens who are on the streets protesting. The 2013 Peace Award winner said, Mr. President should, as a matter of urgency, address the nation now. There is power in communication. I do not think it's urgent and advisors are passing strong and enough message to the angry and hungry citizens. He needs to take responsibility by speaking to the masses, particularly youths who are on the streets. The entire nation is expecting Mr. President to announce plans to address the hunger in the land, and quickly too. The silence is no longer golden. He should address the precarious economic reality on ground and not his quietness coming from his camp. Bishop Onoha charged President Tinibu not to be a slave in the hands of his handlers, stressing that as the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, he, he has to call the shots and never accept to see situations through the eyes of his handlers, who may not be really the exact situation of things in the country to him. One thing the president must not accept to do is to be a slave, in the hands of his handlers. Aside what he is told or advised, the president must have a way of hearing directly from the suffering masses and communicating same. This is very important because if it continues relying on what he is told, he is regaining on the promises he made to the people of Nigeria, which will further anger the protesters. He advised the president to act fast by addressing the concerns of the angry youth emphasizing that if nothing is done urgently, Nigeria is on the road to